Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Can you hear us? Please let us know. Oh, they, I see. They can hear us. They, I'm seeing the hey. comments now. All right. Looks like we're good. Uh, hello, everyone. I'll say the things that you were trying to hear me say before. Welcome to FFG Live. I'm here with the developers of Star Wars Destiny, as you've probably recognized. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Yeah, I'm lead designer in Jeremy Zwarm. And I'm a developer, Aaron Aldo. All right. So today we're talking some Spark of Hope. We're, we're going to be playing some games, showing off some new cards. But before that, we want to talk a little bit about uh, this new FAQ, or not FAQ, rules reference that just came out, uh, just posted uh, barely an hour ago on the FFG website. So that comes with uh, a number of changes, including probably most uh, dramatically like a new balance of the force. Uh, so let's talk through a little bit like what's going on with those changes, starting with probably uh, the one that was maybe at the top of a lot of people's hit list, which is Snoke. Oh, yeah. uh, so, so what's going on? What's going on with Snoke? Uh, what, are, what changes are we looking at? Well, grilled Snoke, well, I mean, originally we had him, you know, late last year, he was clearly very strong, you know, a bit too powerful than we expected, so it's kind of tough to decide what to do to help balance him, since he's, you know, a very strong character, he's mm -hmm. a lot of play, you know, he's a legendary, and value-wise, you know, it's kind of hard to make sure you don't hit anything too hard, where suddenly you just, you know, maybe it sees no play at all, and just maybe upsets a lot of players, so. Right, absolutely. We took it easy and just did a, a balance plus one, and that's nice simple, we can always, you know, take that back easily, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For a while, it seemed to really, you know, change things, and kind of, he'd be in the meta, still very viable and playable, but not everywhere, so. Mm -hmm. Over time, especially since set seven, like, things have changed, so it's been pretty obvious now that that wasn't enough, so. This time, we're gonna, you know, hit him quite a bit harder, and we actually gave him errata, so. Yeah. Now his power action can only be used on dice showing damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the main use with him was to just use on resources, just ramp you lots of money and do that every round and just play those big expensive supports and stuff. So now you can't do that. So it's just with damage. It was kind of the original intent with him. Mm -hmm. Where she had that power action like that for a little while just to see how it felt. But right. A lot of players like the versatility and flexibility of having them you know, boost anything. Just a lot more interesting. So Right, right. We did go down that road to Lisa that way, and he did turn out to be you know, a bit more powerful than we had thought. So, kind of going back to what the kind of original intent was. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and on top of that, we actually took him off the balance of the force. Now that he has a Serata, mm -hmm. we don't feel he needs to be have both. Right. So, we can kind of go back to the kind of those original pairings we had kind of intended to see him be paired with, like mm -hmm. namely Kylo, a two player Kylo. So. Yeah. And there yeah. are a few players that were using him the aggro sort of direction in the first place, actually pushing damage with him so those players can still do that and be happy hopefully so yeah absolutely <laughs> um it's just so very playable still so yeah absolutely it's, it's more intended way and not uh, you know just get a bunch of money and stuff like that so yeah i see uh the chai's 15 in the chat saying love that kylo snoke is back uh, there's actually a lot of really positive feedback on the rules reference and here lots of people saying like there's love the changes um, so keep uh, letting us know what you're thinking about it. Uh, Ayla Secura uh, came off of the balance of the force. Yep. So what uh, what was kind of what has changed that she can now come off of that? I was close to you know you put her on there and she did really well at worlds and she was just, you know just using so many decks became mm -hmm. almost you know in a way ubiquitous for heroes to have her on the team and to me it just became less interesting overall for heroes just having her always be around so. With some upcoming stuff, it was like maybe it's a good time to hit her so we can try to get a little more variety going on the hero side. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just always seen her over and over. So, and she was just really efficient, just very, very efficient. So, we decided to hit her, you know, plus one for balance, mm -hmm. try to shake things up and get you know, more diversity going. So, but that was almost a year ago and things clearly changed since then. So, mm -hmm. we feel now that, you know, villains are clearly pretty strong and mm -hmm. girls could use a bit of help. So, we thought, yeah, since balance of force, it's not permanent, mm -hmm. not necessarily permanent. We can always you know, move things around. So we thought, well, like, now would be a good time to give heroes a little boost. So it was like, hero, and like, things have changed. We got enough other characters out there now. I mean, mm -hmm. since set five and set six and set seven came out since then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Heroes have a lot more characters to choose from. And mm -hmm. A lot of other ones, cheaper, more efficient ones. So taste instead of, you know, relying on Ela too often. So we feel it's a good time to bring her back. and. But heroes, you know, that little new toy to play with again and yeah. see what happens. Absolutely. 
Uh, I'm seeing this question a couple times in the chat. Someone asking why no questions and Unetti Force Tree are a clarification, not an errata, despite then being added to the card. Yeah, I mean, technically, it's, it's, we you know, made some errors of some of the wordings back then, so it's just the intent was to be like the Qui Gon's lightsaber or stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Always intent was to not have the both things, or, you know, have both of them work. If, or the second part work, you need to do the first part. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to me, it's just it's easier to do. This was a, the intent. It's a clarification. It's not like a, like a balance thing to really worry about. It's just this was the intent. So sure, a clarification, just kind of like refining, like drilling it on. This is how the card is supposed to work. Whereas Narada is, you're changing how the card works yeah, to address mm -hmm. balance. To me, there's a difference between like balance or I Like we, this is clearly the nowhere power, and it's just we need to do something to change it, to fix it. Yeah. Other things like we just. Accidents happen when you missed a word in there, it wasn't the intent, so to me yeah. it's, it's different. Perfect. Uh, so continuing down the rules reference, uh, Force Storm works a little bit differently now. Yes, it does. <laughs> so it was a very spicy card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fun playing with that design and stuff. And yeah, great art too. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> so it's been one of, my, one of my favorites. And after a while, it was the intent was to have it be like one round. It really built up huge in one round, then get wiped away. So in mm -hmm. one round, you try to do as many times as you could, but then you go away again. But that leads to like memory issues, you know, trying to mm -hmm. keep track of it during a round. So as deans, we had to like, be best if use resources. But then doing that, there wasn't enough text to also remove the resources. So if I move some things around and thought, well, let's try letting the resources stay and see what happens. You know, that would be the whole game. And certainly is uh, was a very, very powerful card. And with focus sides, it was pretty easy just to keep ramping that thing up over and over. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get those blow rounds or just essentially the one force strong to just take over the game and it just wasn't very fun to play against like that. You know, it wasn't meant to be that kind of quickly to ditch all that much damage in one round, so Right. So it's been Dean, yes, try to tone it back, but still leave it, you know, fun and interesting. It's a really cool card and mm -hmm. so now whenever you use a special you have to exhaust it, put the resource on it. Mm -hmm. So essentially once per round you can charge it up. Right. But you can still re-roll the die back in as many times as you want. So if if you get that special, you can put a resource on it and do damage. If you roll back in the into the special, mm -hmm. if you don't get another resource that round, you can still do the damage and roll back in. Yeah. So potentially you can still keep doing it lots of times, but right, it's right. not just the damage building every single time. It's just for the first round, the one damage every time, second round, two damage every time. Sure, sure. Third round, still three damage, so it still ramps up, it's not right, not as absurd levels. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully it's still very playable and people still get use out of it and just look more fair. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, all right. So then the LAAT gunship, uh, that was part of an infinite loop with Kaz Dameron, right? It was, yeah. Just another thing that, you know, it's, it's difficult to test games like this. There's so mm -hmm. many cars, so many moving pieces. Oh, for and, sure. And you know, during testing, changes constantly happen. There's never like a stable card pool. There's yeah. always things changing, changing, changing. So mm -hmm. it's tough to really just try to find that, like all those combinations out there, what, what might potentially be game breaking, which this at times could be, if you set it quickly enough, it would just be an infinite, essentially infinite win, so. Mm -hmm. Didn't make a two focus trooper. Yeah, <laughs> we haven't done a lot of our focus, so yeah. maybe try to go back and do that as well. But so yeah, so now it's, you know, it potentially you can still do lots of damage, it's just not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. You can't just focus into the special every time, over and over. You have to just essentially just try to roll into it every time and resolve it right away, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's still, you know, fun and exciting, just there's no, Guaranteed infinite loop with it anymore. So, again, just try to make things more fair. Mm -hmm. So, I'm seeing a couple people in the chat calling out uh, a number of other cards, such as like Entourage, uh, Mega, Fist, uh, and, and wondering what, basically like why those weren't touched in this. Do you guys have thoughts on that? Yeah, I feel it's, I'd rather first try to deal with the research generation. I think that's, to me, the, the main problem. Right, the ramp. The ramp, yeah. Yeah. If there wasn't so much ramp, those cards would be, I think, a lot more fair. They'll be coming out as quickly. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you have to work for them more and wait possibly multiple rounds before you can get them out, then that's that's where they should be. It's just when you can get them out right. so fast. <laughs> Immediately, yeah. yeah. So I feel like hitting Snoke especially should change things. Mm -hmm. still, it'll still ramp on game, so we'll constantly keep an eye on it. But, at least try this route first and see what happens and yeah. you know, always you know see how the main game plays out and there always be more updates so if things are deemed problematic we'll make changes to try to 
fix things and make things feel better. So Excellent. Uh, so then I guess there's just one last card that was hit here, uh, which is Watto. Uh, so support mm -hmm. character is kind of like not a thing for a long time, oh, yeah. and then uh, very much became well, a thing. <laughs> so I was trying to you know, push the game in new directions, do other things, so for the longest time support characters were just deemed just not good and kind of laughed upon, so right. I was trying making some good ones and see what happens, you know, just do something different. So we definitely started pushing those much more, and as you can see. And, while well, I was kind of, I don't know, maybe a personal favorite of mine, so maybe I pushed a little bit too much there. And <laughs> so the intent was, uh, you know, his first ability to be kind of like, you can't, you know, mind trick him. He's mm -hmm. immune to that, so. But it was, as it was released, you know, it kind of was a bit too universal to help, you know, against dice removal, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That wasn't the intent to you know, really shut down all that dice removal, so I guess the intent was more like a, a mind trick feel, so. Putting that little one word in there helps tremendously, I feel. Putting blue on now, so it still works thematically. You can't mind trick him, but yeah, now yeah. all the rest removal, he's vulnerable to you, so hopefully it'll help things with him. He's still very strong. We want mm -hmm. to ideally leave my 9 12. I thought about balancing him, but it's nice to still leave, have that 12 point elite yellow character so to pair with like, you know, Palpatine and other stuff. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That way he's not you know, the same as Territory's job at 10 13, so I want to try something a little different, you know, do the rod such as a typical balance. And, Hopefully, doing that can let you know the more counter play, so it isn't quite as powerful. And mm -hmm. so we'll, we'll see how things turns out. But again, kind of come back on the ramp a little bit. You know, it's maybe not a significant nerf to him, but I think enough to you know hopefully it will feel a difference and be I think easier to play against him now that most removal should be good against his dice. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's a lot of times that I want to hit that one resource when he has the plus two show in, and you can actually deny them three, and now you don't really have that option. So. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah should be much easier to help you know, interact with him and try to tone back on their ramp a bit more. So we'll, we'll see how things play out. And Perfect. Yeah, I mean, I think that I think that people are excited. I'm seeing in the chats, you know, lots of people uh, appreciating the the comments that you're giving. People yeah, appreciating the fixes you. to Watto and others. Uh, so we yeah. we hit realms a bit there, and we you know helps heroes with Ela. So we you know, realize villains have been quite strong. So heroes could use some love, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hopefully it shows it, and we'll things will improve with the magazine here. And All right. Exciting times, I hope. Yeah. Well, let's. Uh, oh, do you have some? People have to know how much uh, Jeremy loves you if he's nerfed, nerfed Watto for <laughs> oh, <yeah>. you. <laughs> yeah, I know it hurt, I know it hurt him. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> deep in, deep in <laughs> the soul. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's show some new cards. Let's uh, let's talk Spark of Hope. Yeah. Uh, so you guys have decks that that you've made here to uh, yeah. to play with some of that. Um, I guess as you kind of, as I kind of like getting the stuff out and setting up, uh, I'll just say, uh, so this is Spark of Hope. It's the follow-up set to Convergence. Um, how does Spark of Hope kind of build on what's come before? I imagine we're going to see more support for like traits and downgrades and those kinds of things that we're introducing Convergence. Yes, we will. So this set will continue the, the trait focus things, sometimes focus things on characters. So we'll focus on like bounty hunters and witches and. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So cool. I'm sure he's got yeah. one there. We'll, we'll oh show. my goodness, how many characters do we have there? <laughs> Apprentice characters, so Convergence kind of focused more on some of the basic ones, you know, the more iconic ones, you know, Jedi, Sith, and mm -hmm. Trooper, Scoundrel, Leader. This will delve a little bit further into some of the ones that are more associated with, you know, other maybe affiliations, you know, witches for villains, and mm -hmm. maybe these guys here for heroes. And <laughs> yeah. So we'll definitely go down that road. And also downgrades. Maybe, you know, do maybe some, droids, maybe? Yes, you know. heroes, yeah. There's, for <laughs> set seven, droids are kind of more focused on villains. Mm -hmm. For set eight, mm -hmm. we'll focus more on heroes for droids. Mm -hmm. I think we've seen nice. uh, R2 is coming out from C3PO, so yeah, yeah. more mm -hmm. stuff to go with them and all the droids as well. And yeah, also downgrades, we'll kind of do some new stuff with those. I imagine you have plenty of downgrades in your deck, <laughs> so we'll, we'll see some of those yep. ones. But We'll see a few. Witches also get curses, that's a new yeah. downgrade subtype, so we'll cool. cool stuff with them. And so yeah, we'll definitely be continuing from set seven and always you want to expand upon the stuff we've done before and try to take the game in new territory. All right, all right. Well, people are clamoring to see these cards. So uh, <laughs> what, what do we got here? What are you what are you playing, Aaron? All right. I've got a diceless character, oh. Bob Trooper. Okay. Uh, after you, here, I'll show you. Let's just, let's just pop it over there. All right, so what's this guy all about? Uh, 
He's a Dysus character that just can consistently deal damage. Nice. But uh, we wanted to put some condition on there so that it's not as easy as all that. Mm -hmm. um, so that it has to be a ready character. So that kind of uh, makes timing important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he's also a cheap way to get access to red. So. <laughs> I'm running two of him because he's only five points. Yeah. There so you. that's easy enough to do. And still plenty of points to spend. <laughs> Uh, then I believe you've seen these guys. Or I'll do this way. All right. Chief Chirpa mm -hmm. and the Ewok Warrior. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so it's a red, yellow Ewok deck. Okay. Um, and I splashed red in there uh, because the points work out, but also because um, it's a nice way to get some tools in there that help help. Uh, you know, having multiple characters matter, yep. being able to expend characters, uh, and being able to do more focused damage than the Ewoks do. Their Ewoks are very indirect with their damage. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then another Ewok, I'll show you a new guy. Oh, Wicket! Wicket! <laughs> Our boy. Yeah, the, the best Ewok. Right. Objectively the best Ewok. So he lets you play <laughs> some traps for your hand. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yes, so this is a I'll discard, I'll discard file. file. That's the, yeah. You can get recursion for your traps, and uh, you can uh, just you know discard them to reroll and then get them back. Um, so he's very, very uh, resourceful little guy. Awesome. <laughs> so you are following the game. They are, and, <laughs> I, and I Finally. am very excited. <laughs> Five wide teams. So it's a set eight, but you really are. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, uh, we just need a lot of gungans next. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, Okay, so what do you, what do you got? I got a couple cards you've clearly seen before already. Okay. You're old and strong by outfield, I got a Soul Oh, yeah, I guess, so I guess originally I wasn't going to play the Ray Kyle deck. Yep. It's one of my favorites, <laughs> I love it so much. So yeah. I was very attentive to you, but after you know, looking at things and stuff, I like, well, we've seen them already, so it'd be fun to show off a brand new character and maybe some more cards to go with that character. So show that, yeah, like we both have hero decks here, so I mean, it's not all available, well, we do. Also enjoy Euro, so mm -hmm. we got a brand new. Oh, brand new character! <laughs> All right, well, new version. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> new version. He's only got one cut, one in the game so far, so let's kinda, see. Kind of what we're doing one, so. All right. Oh snap! <laughs> brand new Yoda. Yoda two. Wow. So, so what does this Yoda bring uh, that is different than than other Yodas? So we had the first Yoda set four is. You know, the old man Yoda, um, Big Bob, is yep. very, very powerful and very tier one character at both mm -hmm. points, so he's been seen in lots and lots of plays, so we want to do something different with this version, so he's you know, a younger version, he's more of a mentor, you know, subtitle, so mm -hmm. uh, ideally works more like you know, younglings and stuff like that, so mentor them. He's got clearly a more points, you know, 14, 18s, you know, a bit more is 10, 13 from before. Right. But to go with that, you know, he actually does damage now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can deal all some yeah, yeah. Deal out quite a bit. Series. If you you know, roll good. The yeah. base three, yes. That's, that, that four yeah. shield set is pretty sick. Yeah, there it was. First ever four shield on a character, so. Yeah. <laughs> Normally it doesn't make sense since you waste a lot of them, but. Right. With his ability, you can actually add up to six shield all by himself, so. Yeah. That's awesome. People are very excited to see this. <laughs> four shields for one die is pretty good. Yeah, they also. Yeah. They also like that he's a rare. Yes, yeah, so that's funny too. We had mm -hmm. no legendary four, so let's try a rare version, so something different. Yeah. He can also, you know, mentor his apprentices, so he can use his shields to block damage for them. So, yeah. Ahsoka here is a good apprentice, so. Yep. All right. Well, uh, let's uh, let, let's start the game, I guess. And we'll, uh, there are more new cards in you guys' decks, uh, mm -hmm. but we'll see those as they come up. And uh, if they don't happen to come up, we'll. Uh, We'll look through them at the end of the game here. But well, let's, uh, let's get going. Elite Wicket Single Deck Trooper. Well, at this point, on these are trilogy decks, so there's. Oh, sure. They're clearly, they're not like, meant to be tier one at all. They're just, you know, yep. kind of fun, cool decks with you guys. Just something this morning to try to show off some new cards and mm -hmm. just have yes. some fun and see yep. what happens. And just convergence and spark of hope. This is not the oh, World Championship Finals. Definitely not. <laughs> it's a fun, interesting game. Please, please bear in mind. <laughs> so first, you know, throw some new stuff and show it off. Not to try to make the best possible deck. So. Yep. Absolutely. So like now, we... Yep. All right. 
Okay. So you guys get to roll off. So, so Jeremy, your your uh, assault flats is your uh, battlefield you brought there. Yes, yeah, definitely a very strong battlefield since you know, it was a leader you can got a power action and turn die to the side showing a blank or mm -hmm. turn one of your lead dice to any side. And I'll see those two. I guess two really good sides. You know, base three or a four for one shield. Like it's nice to go have a battlefield that goes right with that. Someone's asking to see the Yoda again. I'm just gonna grab it while you're yeah. shuffling. Put that up there. Oh, it's the card view camera. I think um, I'll like the just click the shot the and hit the gold audio symbol by it. Make sure it's not on. Stop. One card. I'm only mulliganing one card. Yeah. Just whatever that is on. Three times your hand. Hope so. Uh, and I'm running military cam, which uh, I don't have any trooper dice uh, to re-roll, but uh, I can activate two characters in one action. Um, and that's important when you're five characters wide, it can take, yeah. a while to, take a while to do all of these, so that's why I'm on military camping. Yeah, we got a five wide team versus two wide, yep. so it's very different. He probably has a lot more health than me. <laughs> but it's pretty easy to pick off a single Ewok warrior. Yes, it is. Yeah, with only four health. <laughs> so. Is that the best choice to be going after first? Probably not. So. <laughs> All right. We well, yeah. apologize for the audio difficulties that are going on. Should be uh, and, should be sorted pretty soon. And your roll off. Oh, there's no way I'm beating that. Yeah. Three, three's a good roll off. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Almost as best as I could get. So, my battlefield. All right. At least I get shields. Uh, who do I want to well, you rolled that alive. Uh, yeah, hopefully you roll this well in the game. Yeah, exactly. You nope, you, you, you burned it for the game I now. <laughs> uh, let's start off with the uh, good binds all things. All right. All right, someone's asking, can we expect more reprint cards in Spark of Hope? Yes. All right. There will not be as many as set seven, since this mm -hmm. isn't a base set, so don't feel you have to do as, as many you know, basic all-around, all-purpose cards, so mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. fewer. Can answer that question with aftermath. All right. Which is actually, uh, got a story behind this one. <laughs> so as you can tell, it's not. It clearly is worded differently than the current version <laughs> of aftermath. Mm. So we feel the original version was just a, a bit too strong. And it did see quite a bit of play back in old meta. Hasn't seen much since. But mm -hmm. as you mm -hmm. can tell, with all these cheap characters now, like <laughs> Chrissy. A lot more play than the original version, so... <laughs> yeah, exactly. You potentially have five wise mirror matches, and the original version you didn't exhaust. You should get money every time the character got defeated, which could get out of hand pretty quickly if there's <laughs> teams like that going around. You get even yeah. six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> seven. <laughs> seven. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it feels best. So, again, resource ramp, you know, it's got a lot of attention, so <laughs> it feels best to maybe... There's really cool interesting cards. Nice mm -hmm. to have. Mm -hmm. But we feel it would be best to balance it overall and kind of put a cap, so it's just once per round. It would be a little more fair, but... Especially multiplayer. That's the card multiplayer. You can just do crazy things. You get tons and tons of money, so... Yeah. That should be much more fair, so... Absolutely. Once it comes out, the older version will get a ride to match the new one there. All right. All right, well, we got one of Bion's all things. How about two? Oh, no! Oh, yeah, <laughs> one. oh it binds all things. Uh, see, it doesn't really matter who I do damage to versus your deck, because I know Yoda will just block for Ahsoka all day long. But I'll do one to Ahsoka. <laughs> you just have, to, you have to just have to kill her real fast before yeah. Yoda gets any shields. <laughs> yeah. That's the strategy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just do eight well, immediately. Well, nice to be her. Mm -hmm. All right. One melee, one resource. I will go ahead and do glider attack, which is a new card. Ooh. 
No oh, man, the Ewok theme is strong. <laughs> the Ewok theme, yep. <laughs> uh, so I can exhaust one of my Ewok characters, which will just be this little guy, um, to deal three indirect to you. Uh, and you can spend up to three resources to block that much, but you have no resources, so. It's, a good, it's a good time for an ambush. I see you've chosen, uh, <laughs> chosen the time wisely. <laughs> Uh, let's see, a couple of questions. Uh, will you reprint any legendaries in this set? This set, uh, no. no. Okay. We had one last set, so this set we won't. Mm -hmm. All right. Also, uh, someone asking to settle an argument, is Aftermath <laughs> technically a reprint? <laughs> and technically yeah. it's the same title, so yeah, it yeah. just has a rod now, so yeah. yeah. It's just built in. Yep. yep. Okay. To, um, All right. Mm. Risk it and hope to. You all can defend here since I have a new card here. All right. Jedi Ooh, lightsaber. Jedi lightsaber. Jedi lightsaber. That's pretty nifty. There have been a lot of different lightsabers over there the course have. of the game. So it's, you can help her find just more basic, kind of non unique ones. So mm -hmm. just a simple Jedi lightsaber. You play it on a character, you give it one shield. But if that character is a Jedi, you have two shields. Yeah. So it's also one thing we do more of is just having like upgrades with like FE play abilities. Mm -hmm. I guess originally in the game, you had no, you know, the replace rule wasn't there. You could just do it as many times as you want every round, and that mm -hmm. was once a round. Mm -hmm. So in the past, you know, you could easily take advantage of that, you re re repeatedly replacing over and over and getting mm -hmm. right. crazy amounts of fun, or crazy stuff going on. So now it's just once a round, so we can kind of push more abilities like this where in the past it could have been problematic, but yeah, absolutely. now it's just once per round, so we can feel we're going to do kind of mm -hmm. new territory, kind of see what the abilities can do off of playing upgrades on the characters. So. That's a common theme for the forms, too. When they Makes sense. Come into play, they do something. And <laughs> but yeah, it's just mm -hmm. tougher actually playing now instead of just repeatedly replacing every round, or every time, over and over. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, more cool stuff coming up. All right. Uh, I'll activate Wicket. And I got a shield and a resource. Well, I guess speaking of replacing, let's go ahead and <laughs> replace that Jedi lightsaber. <laughs> All right. Yeah, seriously training from set seven. Take so. Yep. See, I should have known that you didn't actually want the lightsaber because you never bothered to get the get dock out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He tipped his hand. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll go ahead and activate my other hot trooper to deal one to Yoda mm -hmm. before you activate, and it's too late. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and activate Yoda. Oh no! Got the three oh, melee. The three oh, melee. <laughs> and a two focus. focus. And a blank, and I'll use her ability. Let's go ahead and get a resource. I do not like it. Got a question from Toek. How does the actual meta influence you in designing cards for the future since you're designing several sets ahead? It's really, really tough. Like, yeah. we just so far mm -hmm. in advance, it's really hard to do. It's maybe just some really overall things you might feel might be lacking in the upcoming card pool. Like, mm -hmm. it might be a bit too late to address in you know, current meta games, but overall, especially now we have Infinite going on, there are some things that you know, kind of look at, like, all right, long term, which maybe geared more towards this thing or that. And, but for like the standard metagame or especially trilogies, you, you really can't. There's just not enough time to really be able to react to that. So, mm -hmm. And if we're too reactionary about it, then we're so far behind guiding the ship that right. by the time the changes get there, it's too late. You know? Right, so, right. Yeah. <laughs> You're already through the rocks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to activate Chirpa. Chirpa! What about new forms? One melee damage. Uh, there is one new form, yes. Ooh. That may or may not be. May or may not be oh snap! We'll have to find out. <laughs> new form <laughs> might be <laughs> might be seen here today. Uh, how many cards do you have in hand? Three. <laughs> Two money still. What kind of removal might you have? For <laughs> <laughs> Two money. <laughs> All the removal. All oh, the yeah. removal. So maybe we should. Do some resolving dice to make sure. Let's... 
could one shot that Ewok there. <laughs> right, easily, but just, just take him off the board. <laughs> not my biggest concern right now. Yeah. Yes, he did not trigger her wicket, so must not have any traps. I'm bound to get some. <laughs> so yeah, let's go after wickets. Four damage. All right, to the shield. Take three damage. Um. Uh, I think it's a good time for support of the tribe. Is that a new card? Yes. All right. Here we go. Uh, spot any number of characters that share a subtype to heal that much damage from a character. Sure. I have three Ewoks, so I can heal three damage. It would be better in a deck that had uh, six or seven Six Ewoks. or seven Ewoks, right? <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. The Jedi Trials is asking, which one of you do I have to thank for bringing Mr. Bones to Destiny? I <laughs> uh, wish he had a guy named uh, Chris Bates. That's a huge fan of him, so I'd probably thank him. He's been working <laughs> for the time to get Mr. Bones. It's one of his favorite characters, so eventually we realized it, and all right, here he is. So the players like what we done with him. To be clear, Chris Bates, playtester and player, right? Yes. <laughs> all right. I will take a resource. Let's do three to wicket. Three more. <laughs> Back where we started. On him. Uh, um, take a shield on wicket. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and make this claim. Okay. Then I have one more damage I can do to Ahsoka. You'll be able to block it. <laughs> As I suspected. <laughs> Alright, All right, next round. As we suspected. Hold on to both of these. Get two more instances. Do you guys each have a favorite uh, character or card from the set? Ooh. That's a tough one. <laughs> yeah. Lots of favorites. Um, I guess just looking at Ray Carlo, though, to me, that was. As soon as I saw Last Jedi, I mean, that's got to be something Destiny. Just make oh that yeah. Data, like make that a team, make that a possibility. So yeah. To me, it was a lot of fun doing that and being able to play around with that. And I came very, very close to playing that deck. So maybe some other time we'll get to see what we can do with that. But it's been a lot of fun. So at the moment, I go with that. Yeah. There are lots of others. Hmm. Uh, it's hard for me to pick just pick one thing. Uh, I do like that Yoda. I might say Holdo, though. Holdo? Yep. Nice. You don't know what she does yet. Yeah, <laughs> but, but you'll find out sometime. You'll find out eventually. Wait for the previews. <laughs> uh, I, I do see, yeah, people are freaking out about Holdo now. Uh, there's a, a comment in here. Big compliment to the designers. You guys are doing a great job, and the variety of the game did grow so much. Thank you. Really appreciate oh, wow. that. It does mean a lot, so. First action, I'll start with Ahsoka. Plus two melee, plus two shields. Ooh. Which you can resolve as if they weren't modifiers after you resolve activate Yoda because Yoda, he's a Jedi. Mm -hmm. So that's scary. Hmm. <laughs> I think uh, it's time. <laughs> I think it's time for a trap. Ooh, a trap coming down. It's a trap. It's not really, though. These are trilogy decks. Can't be it's a trap. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put it. A net, net trap. trap a on net trap. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's see this net trap. So after he activates, I can discard this downgrade to remove one of his character dice showing damage. Nice. That seems pretty useful. Next time he rolls that, that three, three that, that he's big three. been having good luck on, <laughs> it's going away. Okay. <laughs> well, only appropriate if he showing up Yoda. He clearly hasn't had his lightsaber yet, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's about to change. So oh, snap. <laughs> let's use the Binds All Things for one. Uh -huh. First ever one cost lightsaber. All right, here it is. Boom. Yoda's lightsaber. I think, I think the double It Binds All Things first round is going to catch up to me. Pretty that's a pretty, uh, catch up to me. pretty good economic <laughs> pretty advantage. Good. <laughs> So this card is a legendary, and I saw uh, a question in the chat that basically saying that why we, we heard from Lucas a while back his rules on why a card becomes a legendary, and they're curious to hear from you guys. What is your take on uh, a 
what makes a card a legendary? Yeah, it's, it's definitely depends. You know, there's a lot of situations. You know, with, ideally it's just going to be like a really, just really cool, fun, splashy, you know, interesting card that mm -hmm. a lot of times, you know, sometimes it's you know, mostly thematically, like just a really cool thing we want to depict. A lot of times it's mechanically, but you know, ideally both. And yeah. Ideally, you know, try to do both of that, but. And it depends too, like this version of yours is just rare since we already did legendary, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just like take that into consideration and I don't get any other thoughts on that. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it, if we make the character rare, maybe their lightsaber legendary or vice versa. If we, you know, if we make them both legendary, you know, with like Vader, then that's a, you know, a lot harder mm -hmm. to acquire all that stuff. And it's hard to put that cool <laughs> thematic deck together. Yeah, put together the suite. So it also, um, matters a little bit how complex the card is like uh legendaries tend to be the more complex things and also like the more situational things that maybe are mm. amazing if you build the right deck around them but rares are more like just standard kind of it's always good yeah absolutely definitely, yeah definitely complexity can weigh that as well so there are a lot of factors so it really depends you know just on what the, what the card is and mm -hmm. sometimes it can be just a numbers game like we have to do you know 17 legendaries every set so we gotta make sure that there are 17 and right once exactly. in a while one might not like, quite feel there or maybe there's too many like we had decided to you know, kind of cut one down to rare so sure sure a lot of factors yeah mm -hmm. absolutely so after i play the his lightsaber on yoda and give him a shield all right yes. Um, I'll play Ewok Ambush, another Ewok theme card. Oh man, I love it. It has Ambush. <laughs> Surprise! Uh, and you can activate up to three of your Ewok characters. So here we go. All right. Ewoks, Ewoks, Ewoks. I got two interact, a disrupt, and a melee. Mm hmm. And then with the ambush action, I'll also activate a Hoth Trooper and get rid of you as shield. Snipe in the shield. <laughs> Have you played around with the uh, like maximum Ewok deck? Yeah. Well, what, what's, uh... <laughs> we definitely tried that. Uh, <laughs> and the, the thing that's scariest in that is probably gang up. Mm. But it's also hard to keep a character alive with gang up on them. Because gang up has X sides where X is equal to your number of yellow characters. So you can have right. like a seven damage side. Yeah. Um, but like I said, it costs three resources and that character will die that same round almost every, <laughs> every, almost every time you give them that target, so. Oh, they're saying, don't forget the Ewok warrior indirect. Oh yeah, true. Yep. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Looking out for me. <laughs> The comments always keep us honest. <laughs> so I could take that. Um, well, it would be nice to get this special, but definitely not guaranteed. So I'll just do the guaranteed thing and play Series of Mastery over right now. All right. And one less with finds all things. <laughs> After I play that, I can move a die showing damage, so I'll knock the two indirect out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're acting. Okay. I'll just activate my other Hoth Trooper while Yoda's still ready, so one more there. Actually, so if I move that instead, is it too late? Oh, sure. I just remember that. This <laughs> <laughs> cannot hit melee, it's only range or indirect. So you play a deflection slash for one. Mm. That was any damage. Which will activate one of my blue characters. So I count the order. Mm -hmm. Remove a die from range or indirect. So now I'll remove indirect. It's just Why taking out all your dice. <laughs> Got a special on Swiss Mastery, a two focus on Yoda. Ooh. One melee on Yoda, so you can net trap that. Mm -hmm. And one resource on Yoda. So I guess resolve, I guess finish resolving Deflecting Slash, so if the character has a card to with Series of Mastery on it, which it does, give it two shields. And then it'll trigger a Soka. Have, have they seen that one? Yeah, it's a set oh. seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> resolve for die. I suppose it wasn't showing a modifier, so I suppose we'll get this two melee. Let's go ahead and throw it at Wicket. Got in for um, Wicket. my shield. Actually, it's gonna be tough to resolve this one, isn't it? 
but <laughs> I'll probably better re-roll that anyway. Yeah, let's do that. And then I will go ahead and sacrifice net trap. net trap to get rid of that one, because it would probably get focused into a three anyway. <laughs> mm, I think it might be a good time to go ahead and do that disrupt. Because you still have two resources hanging out mm -hmm. over there, and that kind of scares me. You got two money, three cards. That's two dice isn't too good now with no more of your dice left. Well, I don't have many dice to go around. True, I have very few to start with. No upgrades yet, though. I just imagine you have at least some upgrades or sports in there or something to go. Yeah. Get you more dice. Mm -hmm. Um, let's go ahead. Also, flip your die. Just focus them. Mm -hmm. I imagine you might be claiming. Well, you're considering. I've seen a couple of people ask about so, uh, the state of mods. Like, uh, are there more in this set, or is that going to be coming back? Uh, there are more mods. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if have we spoiled any yet. So. I feel like uh, yeah, I don't think we've shown any yet, but. Just letting people know be, that there are more mods. There are more mods, but it yeah. might be a bit different this time. Ooh. Not the ones they expect. New, new, new twist on mods. Yeah, so if we haven't spoiled any, we'll, we'll leave the surprise for when we do <laughs> okay. that. Okay, yeah. okay. So yeah, mm -hmm. there will be mods, but it might be a bit different. Yep. A handful in this set, yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, let's go ahead and use my power action and turn this to the three melee. Hmm. I'll play another trap on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that one. All yep. right. Rolling logs. So this one only uh, only costs zero, and after attached character is activated, I can discard it to reroll any number of its character and upgrade dice. So uh, next time he rolls this nonsense, I'm gonna reroll it. Left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really digging that there are all these traps that you can throw in an Ewok deck mm -hmm. and, or any deck, but uh, a yellow deck. It feels very Ewok like. Yeah. So just, and for them to cost zero or one and just be able to keep. Yeah. You know, it's pretty I'll sweet. <laughs> Reroll, but in doing so, I'll pitch a new card. Ooh. <laughs> all right. Caretaker Village. All oh, the fish nuns. <laughs> Our favorite. <laughs> Lanai caretakers. Technical <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's some of the points on apprentice characters and also Jedi, so I can sell those removal decks. You can, you know, it's kind of like a, another way to keep your dice from coming back and try to have more counters to all that removal going on. Some pretty strong removal, especially you know, villains got some good stuff, so heroes gets a way to help counter that. Mm -hmm. But it's just apprentice and Jedi, so. Yep. But there are some pretty good ones. Got that plus two again. It was special. And two shields from the three through mastery. Hmm. You could take all four. All of four. And throw them on your own. <laughs> Why man. not? Oh man. Uh. Okay. I'll play Mr. Bones. There he is. Oh, Mr. Mr. Bones Here. himself. So yeah. I talked about him. Yeah. Right here. Part of a this new is, OP this kit. Is what he actually does. <laughs> So uh, as you can tell, lots of melee damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the retrofitted uh, B1 battle droid that <laughs> likes to murder things. Yes. Uh, and after he kills something, uh, you can ready him. Perfect. <laughs> That's very thematic. Yeah, it's, it's great art, too. <laughs> I, I love Mr. Bones. I wish I had him right now and just go on the line. And murder, murder, murder. murder. <laughs> <laughs> it would be better against me, ironically, yes. Speaking of murder. Uh -oh. I would love to murder something right now. So. Oh no. <laughs> I want that little wicket there. Oh. Uh, so adorable. I hate to do that. But... Rip I'm wicket. Just, just a mean wicket, guy. wicket dice. We barely knew you. Rip, okay. rip kit. <laughs> <laughs> you want to trigger your aftermath? I do, I do. Yes, thank you. Resource. <laughs> All right, my action. I'll activate Mr. Bones. The one and only. 
There we go. Right. Uh, Three for one. <laughs> mm. well, let's go ahead and get these yeah. four shields. We have enough in here. <laughs> seems, Come on, Yoda. Seems right. <laughs> I'll How's that like? Do, <laughs> I'll do my three for one. It's an obscene amount uh, of shields. To Ahsoka, but I know what's going to happen. <laughs> Yours here to help protect her. Jumps yep. in the way. I'll hear you. <laughs> and they got a specialist in here, so you can do one unblockable damage to a character, or two unblockable damage instead if I remove one shield from Yoda. Uh, mm -hmm. Tempting? It is. But I feel, do I need to be aggressive right now? Like, I'll just play nice. I'll just do the one on block. Well, uh, so this works if you have three or more. Yeah, yeah I guess the bonus. His special. So special is just for two now. It's just two hundred now. Uh, let's go ahead and let's start hitting these hot troopers. Okay. Understandable. And then I'll claim. And I will pass. Right. So as you uh, were guys were designing this set, uh, how were you looking at the different colors? Were you planning to were you trying to adjust the power levels of any colors up or down? Um, uh, yeah, it's definitely again tough to do with having two things so far in advance. Mm -hmm. I mean, for a while, it was pretty clear like red needed help, so we mm -hmm. tried to really give red a lot of help in to seven. And I think we succeeded. You know, we've been doing much better now. So, and for the longest time, you know, like my like blue hero was doing really well, and they had so many great toys. So we kind of want maybe dial things back a little bit for blue hero. Let some other colors and affiliations, you know, come to the top. So right, I think that's definitely been showing the recent meta game now. Yeah, blue hero is definitely not what it used to be. So sure. But yeah, going forward, it is, it is really tough, you know, just do things so far advanced. You want to, if you have a goal to try to do it, then things turn out that maybe that was the wrong goal to start with. Mm -hmm. or maybe, you know, overcompensate or be the wrong decision. So mm -hmm. I think with, with set eight, hopefully you can get, you know, a roughly decent balance between, you know, affiliations and colors. It's always really, really tough to do, but I think going in, we, I think Hero Blue should get some new toys to help them a little bit. So yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, mm -hmm. overall, things are you know pretty good. And if not, we can always you know do rules updates to try to help that. So it's also uh, getting a chance to develop the color pie a little bit here. So like the faction identity for each uh, color, I feel like has improved with this set, especially with stuff like uh, blue hero can care about Jedi's and apprentices, and that's a super thematic sort of area that it can carve out for itself there. Mm -hmm. Cards that care about those. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, so to my action, I'll activate a hot trooper and do one to Ahsoka. My Spocker. Yeah, okay. <laughs> go ahead and activate her. <laughs> a blank and a plus two melee. Hmm. Hmm. I can handle that. I can handle that. Okay. I'll. Activate another one. Do one to Yoda this time. <laughs> uh, sadly, I have no upgrades this hand, so I can't use all those no. this round. Oh, bummer. <laughs> it makes you feel any better. I didn't ever get to use Wicket's ability because you killed him. <laughs> very true. It's one of his new him. That's a very strong <laughs> ability. So Yoda got a one melee and plus one on his lightsaber and one resource and two shield on Cerisu Mastery. So we trigger Ahsoka. I would act. I would. Just go ahead I could do rolling logs, but I don't. That's not a very scary roll. I think I better hold on to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> two, two there. there. All right. <laughs> Then I will get out an Ewok bow. Oh, nice. Good card. Ewok bow. <laughs> There's an upgrade. Yeah. Uh, 
finally found my upgrades. <laughs> um, and while it's on an Ewok, it has redeploy, which is very handy with how small and easy to kill they are. <laughs> yeah, they just keep passing those bows along. Just keep right. passing their bows, yep. Uh, and I'll put it on the warrior so that your targeting decision's a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and let's try to do some reroll on that. Special is not too high. I'm using a bow now, so I'll actually get a damage off that. <laughs> not great, but or too indirect on a trip on trip better. Yeah. <laughs> well, the master you can't hit that though. It's unlike, well, I guess you're Mr. Bullet a bit now. Yeah. Like him. Yeah. Let's reroll this. <laughs> you surely get a sea wicket. So let's put the cap in there. Sure. <laughs> so you got a one shield, special on Yoda's lightsaber, a three melee on Yoda. Got that special in the mastery. Ooh, and a plus two on melee on the side. Wow. Wow. Much better. Wow, it's too bad. That wasn't your roll out. I would have definitely. Definitely your roll out. <laughs> is the uh, triggering condition of like after attached character is activated, is that common to pretty much all of these traps? Or, mm -hmm. or, okay. Yeah, you yeah, kind so. of walk into it and then yep. it springs. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's cool. Mm -hmm. I will. Hmm. Get out another Ewok bow. Right. <laughs> uh, too many bows. <laughs> a double bow. It's a, it's a dual wielding warrior. He's very skilled. Very talented. Uh, Yoda is also very talented. Let's. Let's do a circle of shelter. Mm. Resolve one of your character's dice. That's where showing a shield. So I'll choose Yoda's. Give me those three shields. Oh no. <laughs> and then, if that character has seriously mastery on it, you can resolve the dive to remove from your pool, so I'll leave it there. Wow. The melee is yeah. awfully nice. Base three, like... base three is so good with Circle of Shelter. Okay. Mm. I think now would be a good time to use the Salt Flats power action. And I guess I'll just like put a resource on there. Um, to turn that die to a blank. <laughs> Since Yoda doesn't have any blanks, that's mm -hmm. really what I was thinking about. There's another you know. point to Yoda. <laughs> He's the only character in the game with no blanks. Mm -hmm. you know, Seth one had no blanks, so... It's a tradition now. It is. Let's make Yoda <laughs> yeah. no blanks, right? And yeah. Just, that's and not one of his things. And his lightsaber as well, yeah. Yoda, Yoda yeah, can't go lightsaber. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let's also try another new card. All right. Oh. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Force connection. So uh, clearly, you'd go with you know Kylo Ray ideally, but mm -hmm. Yoda, Ahsoka, why not? Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, actually, you exhaust the support and spot two blue characters to turn one of their character dice to a side showing the same symbol as one of the other characters' character dice. So you can make them match. Yeah, that's a uh, nice. nice nice bond going on between Yoda mm -hmm. and Ahsoka. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. I will Ewok ambush again. Again. Yep. So I can activate both of my Ewoks, mm -hmm. and then it has ambush, so I get to act again. So it's let's right see there if in I the can't title. roll a bunch of damage right off the bat. Ha! <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Blank disrupt one shield. Ouch. Um. Ooh. My ambush. I don't want to resolve. So what do I want to do? Uh. Yeah. Probably get Mr. Bones in there as well. Yeah, go ahead and activate him. He'll get some damage, right? <laughs> Probably. Oh, and you take an indirect, indirect from the Ewok warrior this time. I'll just take the shield. <laughs> no damage. Oh, no damage. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Mr. Bones died. <laughs> Murdered himself. <laughs> no, Mr. Bones. Uh, yeah, that was so much fun. Let's just do it again. Oh, we're doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Just, Yoda just loves his shields too much. Yep. Shields never end. Yep. He's invincible. <laughs> <laughs> I need some unblockable. Real, real fast. Yes. I will discard glider attack to reroll all of this. 
Golden Dice Podcast yeah, says this. Jeremy is ruthless. I am. Watch <laughs> out. Everybody plays me. Watch out. <laughs> oh, there's a special. All right. Nothing better now. Yeah. Got the Chirpa special, and I got one melee on Mr. Bones. Well, let's get rid of that one melee. Oh. Okay. No, because no, technically I'll do this first. I'll resolve my Yoda lightsaber first to make sure it uses one shield. Sure. <laughs> do two unlockable damage to. Might as well finish off the house trigger. Ooh. No. <laughs> Your money from Aftermath. Yes, thank you. <laughs> then I'll resolve this to knock out the one melee. Mm-hmm. And also get a shield. Seems good. Um, I'll go ahead and do my trip special for two indirect. You know I can handle that, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so who should we go to? Well, let's go ahead and force connection first. So it chooses three melee. So and turn this to the melee side. Get that. Let's go for a plus two. You only got one card in the end, you got removal, right? <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances? I'll uh, take a resource. Now let's go ahead and do some more murdering. I feel like I'm gonna use your bones over here. <laughs> five, five, seven, oh, two. and I d can't even use my aftermath again. No, no, not since it arrived. <laughs> now, that, <laughs> now that it's fair, I don't like it. Um, I'll play trip aside. Ooh, is it, is that, that's been spoiled, right? I, guess show yeah, I believe it has, but yeah, we'll, we'll throw it out there. <laughs> Cheap chirp is hut. This is how I <laughs> come back. Come back. Come on, <laughs> get some Ewok warriors coming back out the hut. Uh, I guess I will go ahead and take that shield. Why not? Mm, I will roll in the hut. Resource. Mm -hmm. um, I will like my cell thoughts back. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Uh, then I'll take my resource and I'll disrupt one of yours. Naturally. Naturally. And then I'm done. Yep. Alright, next, next round. round. It's not looking good. <laughs> it's a dice game, right? <laughs> yes. Let's... So, ah. Oh, go ahead. I do have an upgrade. I should maybe wait to play it, though. Mm -hmm. um, this might seem a little weird, but... Now let's go ahead and do the Caretaker Village first. Protect my Jedi and Apprentice dice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's get a net trap on Yoda. Oh, uh, another net trap. <laughs> another net trap. So many traps. Falling again. Come on, Yoda. You, you learned the first time. Since I control the triggering of them, they can kind of combo together there. I can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as long as I control nice. both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Um, uh, seriously training over here mm -hmm. for free with my binds all things. <laughs> He's getting the die out too, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny Looks like it might stick. Or am I <laughs> playing more of my game? <laughs> oh, <I'll> snap. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I'll go ahead and um, get out the Grievance Striker on Ewok Warrior. This one's from Convergence, yeah, but it's a nice redeploy weapon. What's yeah. about Ewok, man? He's, just... <laughs> He's got two bows <laughs> and a blaster. <laughs> hey, man. He sure is packing in. How is bringing a soul canal? He's seen too much battle, <laughs> too much war. Bring in heat. So I got a blank, a plus two shield, and a special on my series two training. Hmm. That looks good. Let's activate this warrior. Here he comes. Not impressive, so but you do take one in there. Indirect on Yoda. <laughs> So a question from the chat here. Uh, do you guys have some special tricks to keep track of balance 
as rotation hits every year. It seems to be a big change of the card pool every time. After rotation? Yeah. Yeah, this was a first rotation, so yeah, it's a lot of things to consider and factor in, so. Mm -hmm. That's just a massive amount of cards going out, and as well as conversion cards all coming in at once, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's not a, not an easy task, like just, I mean, the best thing is just constantly look at tournament data, tournament feedback, see, you know, what people are playing, how well it's doing, and see if there's any trends going on, and. But yeah, it's, it's a, a huge shakeup, so it does take time. You don't wanna you know, make any quick judgments too soon, where. Maybe one deck comes out early and think that might be too good, let's nerf it right away. Like, let the, let the metagame evolve, you know, there's a lot, mm -hmm. of, a lot of counters out there for stuff, so mm -hmm. I'm sure you're going to give it time, make sure you don't, you know, react too soon and maybe make a decision that you regret, so. I like now we've seen a bit of time, so we feel like it's definitely necessary to do some changes, so we got the rules to reference something now, which, you know, it does take time to uh, do those. You can't just, you know, decide I want to do this change and have it come out the next day. Like, it does take, take time, it's a process, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's been enough time now since conversions came out where to prepare those necessary to make some, you know, pretty changes, so. We'll, we'll see with Swagger Hope how long that takes, but I imagine there'll definitely be another shakeup, so. Hopefully there is, you know, overall enough balance where people are really enjoy it and it's a good format. We hopefully don't have to step in. That's always the idea, not to have to do, you know, a rod of balances, but mm -hmm. if necessary, we're always willing to do them to make sure the game is ideally, you know, fun and enjoyable. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I will. Let's do a deflecting slash. So, okay, one to activate Yoda. Ooh, a four for one shield, that's uh, <laughs> nice old. A two focus, and specials again on his lightsaber and mastery, very nice. So I'm just going to remove a die showing range, so let's knock out the Grievous Striker. Let's see, as a mastery, he gets two more shields, and he can handle it, go back up to six. And then Ahsoka can trigger, um, do I need more shields? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, I'm going to throw my her, but... I think I'd really just maybe just try to close things out, so then you can trigger yours. Uh, you didn't hit any damage for me to remove, so I kind of want that to happen. So I will uh, go ahead and do the rolling logs first and make you re-roll all of it. Yeah, all of it. All oh. it's dangerous in its own way. <laughs> yes. It can be, yeah. Right. Well, it should be interesting. <laughs> One damage there, so if you want to... A melee. Net but that's that. on his die, so if I remove it, you can just roll it back in, can't you? I can. Mm. Mm. So I would rather it was an upgrade die that would actually stay gone. Uh, so yeah, I won't pop this yet, then. Okay. Alright, here's your action. I will... Mm. Get Mr. Bones in there. Mr. Bones. One melee. One, that's not too bad. Um, it's not Ewok, man. Three upgrades. They <laughs> all redeploy, so. <laughs> probably wait till Chirpa gets activated. Um, So many shields now, too many. <laughs> Six isn't enough, we sure made it more. It's too many shields. <laughs> I guess I could just do some re-rolling. Got no money. Yeah, let's go ahead and re-roll. So, but I don't get, let's get aggressive. Blank is back. Two focus is back. <laughs> <laughs> one melee and on one shield. Hmm. Or one resource. Oh, okay. I mean, one resource. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so he's just the only shield at door. I'll just activate Chirpa's hut. Oh, oh. Duh. <laughs> the blanks.
I'm not clicking anything. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I'll do a two focus. I'll get this to special. Let's do a plus two melee. Ooh. Or melee showing. Hmm. Do you want to waste it on the warrior? No, oh, that's a question. I'll discard to reroll, but I don't think people have seen this card yet. They have not. All right. So, situation is desperate. Spot any number of characters that have three or less remaining health to remove that many dice. So, it would be pretty good if I had all my Ewok warriors down to right. three health, but that's hard to, that's easy to do if he's playing like an indirect deck, but since he's yes. got all this targeted melee, he's just taking out one thing at a time. <laughs> so that plan didn't really come to fruition. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's reroll everything. Reroll everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. <laughs> yeah. That works out. Oh well, yeah, no money at the moment, but the other one's sitting there, so. I will yeah, go and do specials. Let's use Yoda Saber. I'll use this. Uh, so it's some block ball. I feel like going through that shield right now and just hitting Sherpa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I got my Series of Mastery and knock all the Mr. Bones die. Get my shield <laughs> back. Get your shield back. <laughs> Good combo. I guess I might as well resolve that as well. Ahsoka's feeling lonely with no shield. <laughs> yeah. She wants to get on the action. I'll take that resource. Um, let's go ahead and use this right now. So I'll choose melee on her die to turn this different side from melee. So it's multiplied to three. Yikes. That's uh, a lot of damage. I think it's time for an honorable sacrifice. Um, so can defeat my Ewok warrior to remove two dice showing damage. So both of these. Did you, did you see that one? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. These all redeploy. Also trigger caretaker village. Mm hmm. Gonna get Roll one of them back, but <laughs> that's still up there. Oh, this guy. Shields, shields for days. <laughs> More shields than you could ever need. Oh, and I can aftermath off of my own. Yep. Death. All right. Uh, was that an action to do? This was not, no. Okay. So yeah, that was my action. Your action, yes. Um, <laughs> I haven't used my self plats yet, so I guess I'll put back to the three melee. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Uh, go ahead and activate. But I can get here. Shield, disrupt, resource, range. This is where it all comes together. <laughs> <laughs> Do four to triple. Last stand of the Ewoks. <laughs> Two health left here. Hmm. I can take a shield, I suppose. I will pass. All right, let's re-roll these two. I'm hoping for the special here. <laughs> Come on, reinforcement Ewoks. Hey. Nice, all right, <laughs> I got a, a new card here. You know, people wonder about forms, well. Yeah. All right, I'll give them what they want. They've been asking for it. <laughs> I'll replace Series from Master. All right, Nemon. So, yeah, it's a two cross form. After you play this upgrade, turn a character or upgrade die to any side. And as a special, turn a character die and an upgrade die to the sides of your choice. So, after I play it, I will use that ability. Let's turn. Uh, how much does it cost to do? Is it three to? Yeah, three resources, it and around. it costs one to resolve. So I'll go ahead and turn this to a blank. Oh, I 
need it though. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just as <laughs> the truth. Uh, I'll still do the Chirpus Hut special. Um, I can't afford the three to keep it around, but I can use the one uh, to resolve it. Add a set aside Ewok Warrior to my team. He's back. He's oh. back. Is he exhausted? No. Should be ready. Cool. Ready um, to charge in the battle. Couldn't afford the three resources, so I had to discard it. Uh, <laughs> I clearly have nothing else to do, so I'm just claiming. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got one indirect I can do. Uh, you don't have any money to disrupt. And one range to knock off a shield. That's okay. <laughs> Jeremy hasn't taken any actual damage in quite a while. <laughs> wow, these yeah. shields, Once man. Once the shield they're, engine gets going. They're pretty amazing. All right, well, next round. And Sherpa's all bloodied up over there, so let's see if you can knock him out here. Yeah. My upgrades eventually got there, but they're, I think, too late. Yeah. Your yeah. shields were already up and going at that point. That was... At yeah. least you got an Ewok mm -hmm. out before uh, Chirpa went down. <laughs> yeah, it's true. She needs a five. She needs a three to knock him out. So let's see if Yori can deliver. I guess maybe the Soka would be best first. Instant resolve. Got a blink, a resource, and a two melee off the Niman Mastery. Hmm. Well, it seems like as good a time as any to play Convergence and spot two Ewoks oh, no, no, and no. kill your Niman Mastery. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> that can get really crazy with Ewoks. Yeah. <laughs> That seems Good, like a goodbye planetary bombardment. <laughs> Vader's fist, so long. Yeah. Vader's fist is no match for Ewoks five Ewoks. Ewoks just take down Vader's <laughs> fist. <laughs> well, let's bring in Yoda. Uh oh, he just fell in a trap. Oh no. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. Oh. Right, so we'll not choose to use that. <laughs> Discard this to reroll that one. Oh, that, that's a removal one, isn't it? Oh, remove that one. Sorry. But I figured you're probably gonna roll. I guess, yeah. I'll <laughs> That's what well. it's gonna amount to is a reroll, yes. <laughs> well, it's not the damage, so. Alright. Okay. Well, let's activate Chirpa and all his toys. Okay. Some disrupt, some shield and range. You passed the Nemon training over here. Yeah, it's gonna <laughs> see it again. Mastery. It's probably like Nemon Mastery. Yeah, this is uh, the first one that only costs two. Usually the Masteries cost three. Oh. Uh, this one's only two. It's a pretty uh, cheap Mastery. Pretty cheap Mastery, but yeah. uh, it's so that it can uh, ideally work with other upgrades that you already have out. So that we wanted cool. to <laughs> yeah, <Darth Maul> <laughs> make it more affordable there. <laughs> that's small is in this set. You know, he's, he's a Nemon Master, so yeah. I reflect mm -hmm. that. So, uh, mm -hmm. Let's just go ahead and. Power actions because we melee back. Well, while Chirpa yet lives. Oh, you could kill either of them though. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I should uh, go ahead and disrupt you for two. <laughs> um. Don't pull anything dastardly. <laughs> <laughs> Like destroying your characters. <laughs> More dastardly than you already have. Yeah, it's, it's going on a murder machine here. It's just not going to be Ewok Warrior. Mm hmm. Uh, Your money. That. I have got a lot of free money off of this after my. Um, now I can play. Our situation is desperate. Uh, it is pretty desperate. It is pretty desperate now. Uh, and I'll remove the two focus, actually. Because the Cerise is not going to hurt me much. That's what you think. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do a reroll. Mm. 
people are saying that it's time in the round, so we should probably just wrap this stream up right now, just shut it all down, go home. No more new cards. Sorry, guys. Time in the round. That's where we're at. rules. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I am doomed. Yep. Uh, here we Mr. Bones. Oh, no damage. Here's another trap. Another one. Traps all over the place. Oh, one. new trap. It's a new trap called Ensnare. Mm -hmm. uh, after the character is activated, I can discard this downgrade to deal damage to it equal to the number of its character and upgrade dice showing damage. So I could do a surprise four damage to you when you roll in if I'm real lucky. Well, no, three. That's three, sir. Oh, hey, can you leave that up there for a second? Sorry, sir. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you have no money? Mm hmm. I suppose that's not that one range job. Uh, okay. Shield. I can take a shield as well. Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> and I can. Her a knight. <laughs> Knighthood. Yeah. Well, she worked. She lived long enough. Yeah, Makes the sense. Money. <laughs> One more round. <laughs> sure, sure. Here we go. This seems like the end is nigh. <laughs> yep. Oh, here we go. This is the spicy tech I wish I would have had all along. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, just activate. No damage. Resource, resource, shield. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring in the silk reverse. Someone oh. at Someone asking, since this is the only Destiny live stream scheduled this month, can we expect some spoiler articles in June? Most definitely. <laughs> they are on the way. Now that she's a Jedi, can we use all of her guys right away? Uh, so you can't quite kill me quite yet. Just now, yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not dead yet. <laughs> what, Mr. Bowens? <laughs> You know what I can do. Two focus, two focus, resource, special on his lightsaber. Ooh, he's not mm. getting ensnared this time. I guess he's too short. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> right underneath it. Just ducked right under. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just discard to reroll. Um, but I'll show you this one. This, this is a new card. All so right. Yeah. Way, gonna... No. Because I don't have two characters oh. of the same <laughs> subtype anymore. Oh, no. I did have two removals, but they relied on the same subtype. Uh, so this is a new card. Uh, it's really good in Ewoks. You spot three exhausted characters to remove all character dice. So that was, you know, kind of my plan with these three diceless guys right away. Yeah. And those, and then... For sure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm just discarding the reroll, and then you're going to kill me. <laughs> Well, before I kill you, <laughs> let's show off another new card. Okay. Like that. okay. We got one of my favorite cards in the game. It's kind of a new version of that, so. All right. It's a Jedi mind trick. That's Ooh. Throw that in there. This is a good time. Yeah. yeah. This is a good time. <laughs> so the original mind trick is very similar. Two costs, blue events. Mm hmm That one, you just need to spot a blue character. This is an actual Jedi mind trick, so you actually mm -hmm. spot a Jedi to do it. So it's very similar that you do, you choose uh, opponents, they choose, let's read to make sure they get it right. An opponent splits <laughs> dice in a dice pool into two groups of any size. Then I can choose either remove all dice in one of those groups, or this version has an extra kicker. 
I can also instead turn choose to turn any number of those dice that has my choice. You Ooh, could do it to your own dice pool. So the original mine chart is very defensive, just always choose their pool, but now mm -hmm. I could choose my pool and try to turn my dice. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> but since I have lethal right now, I clearly don't need to choose mine. So just for fun and kicks, I'll choose yours. And <laughs> split them uh, up. Ooh. So I want to keep some damage either way, right? So let's just do it like that. As you're doing that, for, the, for all the people asking about a release date for Spark of Hope, we don't have a, a set release date yet. Uh, it'll be coming probably early in okay. the third quarter of this year is what we're looking at, uh, like July, August time. Um, so, but stay tuned for more details on that. All right. And then I'll just do two indirect you. Lose a couple shields. <laughs> Uh, let's get the misery over with. Okay. <laughs> Destruction! <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for your game. It's a good game. We want to go over any cards you didn't draw? Yeah, is there, is, there, is there anything left in you guys' decks that That's, you have? Uh... I went through most of it. I, I could have, you know, made it way faster. I was just trying to make sure we saw all these sweet cards. Oh, yeah, That's for like, sure. That was, that was my plan all along. Okay, so we got, <laughs> I have one card. Got another rolling tram. Would have been more appropriate for you in that situation <laughs> if, you, if you could have that in your deck. It's a heroic stand. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> cool. So that, that can be very spicy, you know, in the right situation. So two costs, play only if you control exactly one character, and your opponent has three more dice showing damage. Ready character. Nice. That's sweet. That art is so, cool, too. Yeah, that's, that's one of the great scenes of last year there, so. Yeah. So yeah, if, you know, sort of goes down too quickly, then... Potentially, Yoda can make a heroic stand. Or, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Especially if you, you know, need three upgrades on him and all ready to go. Yeah, that is that is excellent. Nice. All right, did you have any cards, Aaron, that uh, hadn't no. been shown yet? No, I think they all got uh, spoiled there. All right, yeah, nice. well. <laughs> that's all I had. So this was our Spark of Hope live stream. Do you guys have anything that you uh, want to say to, to the community before we, before we sign off? Uh, well, thanks for playing. <laughs> I hope you enjoy you enjoy Convergence. I hope Spark of Hope just as well. We have a lot more cool, exciting stuff. So mm -hmm. it's always mm -hmm. truly a pleasure to work on the game. And hope curious. you have as much fun playing it as yeah. we had making it. <laughs> and keep up the comments and mm -hmm. hopefully you can see some new interesting stuff in Spark of Hope. And we got you know convention season starting up with a lot of that. The Nationals eventually later on. So mm -hmm. hopefully we get a, a much more interesting meta game and. Yep. Spark, of, spark of hope coming up and make it more interesting so lots of cool stuff to come i sure hope so <laughs> so thank you everyone for watching thank you so much make sure you hit that bell icon and subscribe so you're notified whenever that we go live join us on thursday we're going to be playing journeys in middle earth which is one of our new lord of the rings board games playing with the <laughs> new uh hunt for the ember crown dlc campaign so that's pretty exciting um, check out the new Destiny Rules reference if you haven't already. It's up on the website now. And uh, like us and follow us, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links are in the description. We'll see you guys next time. Later. See you.